Okay, cool. Hello, everyone. Uh, good afternoon from Yokachimiya, Japan. We are live. This is Kat from yokosonews.com. Uh, it is Yokoso News Weekly number 13. Today is February 20th, 2011, on Sunday in Japan Standard Time. And it is a live show. So, uh, Yokoso News is the uh, online website to talk about Japan in English so that you can understand Japan more. And my heater is beeping. <laughs> All right, cool. So uh, today, um, it's a so last minute show. I decided to carry on this show like earlier today. It's about Japanese film. And now I have a guest and you, reporter of Yokoso News. Uh, Sarah is joining. Hello, Sarah. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great today. How are you? Good, 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 good. And I saw you went to eat uh, unagi. Yes, it was Ew. very delicious. <laughs> it was it, it was uh, my first unadon. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, I mean, did you didn't you feel like a weird or anything? I I uh, love unagi already, so it wasn't oh, okay. too weird. But it was I've never had unagi in that much of a, an amount before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Usually, actually, oh, actually, I. Sushi. Okay, I actually didn't like the unagi that much earlier because uh, it has a small bones in it. Oh yeah? Yeah, unagi usually have a small bone. When I was young, it, I, I actually hurt my throat. Oh no! <laughs> well, this one, this one didn't have any bone in it actually. Oh, so okay. It was, it was very good. It was chewy. Oh, okay. Good, <laughs> no good, bones. Good, 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 good. <laughs> All right, so uh, today, uh, let me first of all carry on the news of the week today. So uh, here we go, switching the, um, um, to the, uh, switching to the uh, display. Uh, again, I just keep saying it, Japan Film Festival LA, it's going to be on April 11th. We actually have some film, we already selected some film which I can, I could announce. Uh, also the date has been set as well. Uh, April 7th, Thursday night is the opening night gala and first uh, April 8th and 9th will be at the New Bibli in Hollywood and following week we'll be playing at the East West players and when on the on the tens blah 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 so uh, we will we'll, we will announce the more detail and I will have to update this website and again the Facebook we have a Facebook uh, page uh, please like us on the Facebook it's at Yokoso news and like as I talked earlier, Sarah, Sarah went to Unagi lunch, and he she posted these. Uh, oh, this looks awesome! Yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> oh, this looks awesome. So uh, you know, uh, on the face, and we do have a Twitter at Yokoso News as well. These uh, Facebook page and Twitter, we will post like a quick update, and also uh, a quote. Uh, introduce uh, the uh, article from other news source that uh, you might be interested in Japan as well so uh, please like us or follow us on Facebook or Twitter so this week in Japan the quick update of what's happening this week and uh, I, I yeah I, I okay this one I talked about it Koko Ichibanya open in LA I think I talked about it last week okay so then uh, next news is the uh, Japanese astronaut Koichi Wakata-san has been chosen to be a um, uh, commander-in-chief of an uh, international space, uh, space station in, I think, next year. End, uh, no, end of, uh, end of uh, 2013. So uh, he's going to be the first Japanese and first Asian Chief in command, command for the International Space Station. 
in 2013. So congratulations, and then it's you know hopefully it's in, going to encourage lots of young Japanese scientists. I mean, young Japanese kids who you know to encourage to be a scientist and and blah blah blah. So <laughs> yeah, and the Grammy was held was held uh, last week exactly last week, and then. Uh, Bees Matsumoto has won the uh, Pop Instrumental Album Award, I think, with uh, La Larry Carton. The album, Take Your Pick. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of reading Japanese article when trying to translate into English at the same time, so my grammar kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, so then. Uh, uh, pianist Miz Uchida also won the uh, Instrumental Soloist Performance Award, I think. So, uh, um, so this year's Grammy, two Japanese were, uh, won. So that's great. And next, new Shinkansen fleet called Hayabusa. Uh, uh, they they did the uh, test run with a real passenger last uh, last couple days ago on February 18th. Many um, I think uh, it has been there were about 240,000 people apply to be in this um, um, test run, and f out of uh, 240,000 people. Uh, 4,400 4, 4, 4, people were chosen and they rode from uh, Sendai to Omiya. So uh, this ha new fleet, Hayabusa, is going to debut on March 5th. The, the first, first train is already sold out, but it, you know, it's all new kinds of Shinkansen. It's coming up in March, so it's kind of exciting. And another news for the Shinkansen as well. Kyushu Shinkansen, the south part of Japan, they are going to um, extend their bullet train Shinkansen line to the uh, edge of edge of Kyushu. So uh, now Shinkansen, it, the line going to extend it to over 2,000 kilometers from the south of Japan to the uh, north of Japan. So main island and Kyushu Island are now connected with one Shinkansen. Now they are going to work and try to extend to Hokkaido Island. But uh, so uh, um, they chose, they, they look for the, the girl who has the same name of these Shinkansen trains. So the, the picture in the girl were the girl who was chosen to be the one day station master when the, these uh, new line Kyushu Shinkansen opens. So uh, Tsubame-chan, Sakura-chan and all, all, all these uh, cute girls going to be a station master. So that's, you know, it's then uh, Kyushu Shinkansen is going to open in I think March 5th as well, I think. No, 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 no. March 12th. Yeah, March 12th. Kyushu Shinkansen opens. Have you ridden the Shinkansen, Sarah? Of course. Yes, I have. <laughs> what do you think about it? It's very fun for me. It's uh, it makes me wish that airplanes were as luxurious as the Shinkansen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like after after a couple, you know, I hadn't ridden the Shinkansen for a long time since I was in LA. I mean, mm -hmm. I was in the US, and I was only like taking a plane all the time. And then when I when I rode on the uh, um, Shinkansen, oh. Is she this large? <laughs> I've been reading the economy for a long time, so uh, I think... Oh, I love being on the Shinkansen. It just, it's a fast ride and it's a comfortable ride. I've yeah. ridden it to uh, Tokyo and to Kyoto. I've ridden it to Tokyo once and back twice. Mm. 
um, I took the bus once to Tokyo, and I, that was hard. It was a long drive, <laughs> six hours from here, yeah, uh, from Nagoya Station to yeah. uh, uh, Tokyo. But whew, I like the Shinkansen <laughs> much better. That's for sure. Well, bus is cheap, so I yes. actually eventually I want to introduce, uh, um, sh you know. Bus ride as it's, well. It's always best to take the bus late at night because yeah. you can sleep. Yeah, that's that's about. It's a little actual. difficult to sleep, but uh, I I <laughs> use a I use a three roll bus, not the four roll. Mm. Three roll bus is the uh, you know it has an ind independent seat, so you can relax a little bit more. So uh, I'm going to introduce that in the sometime soon, and next uh, news. It's a film, uh, Heaven's Story, has won two sections of Berlin International Film Festival on February 18th. So uh, it won the Net Pack Award, uh, I think, uh, most uh, Best Asian Films Award, and then also the um, uh, International Critics Award or something. I'm reading Japanese, so uh, articles I don't really know the exact title of the English title of our, but the Heaven Story has won two hours and it's going to be released in March 5th in limited theater in Tokyo and stuff. And these are the picture of the Heaven Story and uh, February 18th, two days ago, uh, Japanese Academy Hours has been nominated, uh, I mean, announced. It's time of the hour season, everyone. Um, when is the Oscar, Sarah? Uh, I'm not quite sure. It's coming up in, in next week or something, I think. I think it was next week. Yeah, it's end of the... It's, end is of it next this weekend or next weekend? Oh, it's uh, it's gonna be the eighty third one, I think. So it should be, it should be next Sunday yeah. in the U.S. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's I, next Sunday. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, it's it's February, and then it's only one more weekend left in February. Yeah. So I'm sure it's next weekend. But yeah, anyway, there's, so there's a lot uh, of good movies up on there. I can see yeah. them right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Japanese Academy Award also has been announced as well. Then. Uh, these are the list, which I haven't seen many of it. One is the best motion picture of the year of Japanese film. It's called Kokuhaku, Confession. And the best director is, best director was the director of Kokuhaku, Tetsuya Nakajima. And the, main, the best actor is a uh, uh, wow. Satoshi Tsumabuki um, from Akunin. That's him. Hmm. He's the best uh, best uh, actor of the year. Then best uh, actress of the year. Is also Eri Fukazu. I like him. I like her too. Uh, she also she she also won from uh, movie Akunin. I don't know the English English title. I think it could be Devil Person or something or something. So uh, so something like that. The best supporting actor is Akira Nemoto. And best supporting actress is uh, Kiki Kirin. They're also from the uh, movie Akunin. Best screen, uh, best screenplay is also Tetsuya Nakajima from Kokuhaku Confession. And blah, the, the best foreign film of 2010 was Avatar. Yeah. So. That's, uh, that's it. Oh, villain, Rosalie, thank you. You want to join the show, Rose? Uh, 
villain. Uh, sorry, Akunin is villain. So uh, thank you for Rose to let me know. And that's it. So villain has won the five category this year. You know, including best actor and best best actress. So uh, okay. Then, so I, I, you know, today's uh, feature is, so that has been the week of Japan. So, uh, Sarah, hmm. do you watch many Japanese films? I, I do, uh, mostly animated ones, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't quite gotten around to all the ones that I wanted to see yet. Uh. Well, I mean, you know, it's uh, it's it's fine, but uh, um, uh, hold on. So, oh, ho hold on. So, uh, um, I'm I'm just uh, ho hold on a sec. Uh, yeah, so I mean, it's it's good that pe many people are start getting interested in Japanese film because they watch anime. But uh, what's what's really interesting thing is that um, many um, many these anime are heavily influenced by um, many Japanese films. For example, One Piece. The uh, comic One Piece is heavily influenced by uh, one Japanese classic, which I'm going to introduce. Oh yes. <laughs> so, uh, so that's why I was I came to think about doing today's show at the very last minute, called Japanese Films 101. So uh, today's show, I just wanna you know introduce. Like yes, of course you like Japanese anime, which I'm. I'm also want to introduce Japanese animation films. Of course, it's important to know. But uh, in addition to anime, uh, maybe uh, it's it's time to start thinking about what kind of Japanese films to watch, or what who uh, who who do you need to check out among Japanese uh, filmmaker directors and stuff. So uh, here we go. And then let's see. So I am going to change to the screen one more time. So I'm going to uh, talk about. Okay, hold on. Rose. So I'm going to start talking about it's so I prep so so much last minute like a couple hours ago. <laughs> so I'm kind of trying to. Uh, it is a handmade show, right? Yeah, so, very uh, much so. <laughs> <laughs> you only just contacted me a few minutes. Ago. I know, I know. So hey, Molly. Hello, Molly. Molly from Taiwan is watching us. So uh, um, I want to introduce the. Uh, Top three director you must know. Uh, who do you think? What? Who's your favorite um, director? Japanese director. Uh, Sarah. Uh, definitely gonna start with uh, Hayao Miyazaki and Akira Kurosawa. That's okay. for sure. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's uh, Kidoki. So I'm going to have Okay, I'm going to connect one more person, Rose. So that's top 3 Japanese film director. One is Hayao Miyazaki. Akira Kurosawa is in the picture. Mm, he sure is. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that myself. <laughs> so, uh, Rose? Yes. Hey, Rose. Hi. How are you? Tired. Okay. Uh, hi, every, everyone. Ro Rosalie. How, how do I call you? Rose or Rosalie? Rosalie. Rosalie. From, uh, where are you? Where are you right now? Uh, right now I'm in Irvine. Irvine. Okay. Rose from Irvine, California are joining us on the, uh, um, on the uh, show at the last minute. <laughs> so, <laughs> Rose? Yeah. Just give me a, just feed me a comment. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, Akira, what's up? Yeah. What's up? Nothing. Yeah, Nothing. Okay. So, uh, top three Japanese film director that I chose. One is Akira Kurosawa. Uh, yeah. So, uh, he's uh, very famous. He's very famous that everybody knows, including uh, Spielberg and George Lucas was heavily influenced by him. And one of the film is this, uh, Seven Samurai. Mm. <gasps> Love that movie. Yeah, did you watch it? Right. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, so, Sarah and uh, Ro Rosalie, do you like uh, One Piece? Yes, I do. <laughs> Ro I haven't seen that much of it. What? I haven't seen that much of it. But oh, okay. It's okay. So, uh, Seven S One Piece, the comic books, is heavily influenced by Seven Samurai. So, uh, uh, I, I think the uh, producer of Studio Ghibli, uh, Suzuki san, uh, he's a famous producer of Studio Ghibli, interview uh, mm. author of uh, One Piece. Uh, what's his name? Ichiro uh, Oda. Yeah, Ichiro Oda. A A Ichiro Oda. And mm. then during the interview, Oda Oda san said to Suzuki san that One Piece was definitely influenced by Seven Samurai how seven samurai characters were helping each other with uh, each uh, specific role. Um, that's pretty much reflection to the, each character of One Piece. You can see some of the personalities of the seven samurai in the One Piece characters as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's why uh, if you love One Piece and uh, maybe it's time to watch uh, Seven Samurai, it is three hour long movie. Uh, <laughs> it's really long. <laughs> but uh, um, it's an absolutely gorgeous piece yeah. and it's very worth the three hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, once you are ready, so you kind of have to get ready for three hour long uh, films. <laughs> Definitely not a last minute <laughs> nighttime movie or anything. <laughs> so you kind of have to prep. <laughs> but <laughs> once you, you are prepared, then watch it and it's a so gorgeous film. The fight sequence was awesome. The uh, many film filmmaker was influenced by this um, uh, fight sequence, uh, uh, the horse horse sequence. That you know, I there's a there's a story that they shot the fight sequence in winter under the heavy rain, so that uh, um, you know it's uh, it's Akira Kurosawa badly injured his uh, feet because mm. the, uh, how do you say cold barn uh, frostbite frostbite yeah mm. so uh, but it's it's but any any comment about the seven samurai role Rosalie I really like the costume Cost <laughs> <laughs> Costume? Like I really wanted to see them in color. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet they were gorgeous in yeah. person, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh... Now, there, there is a an anime series, a short anime series based on this as well, called uh, Samurai 7. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's kind of a steampunk, futuristic series, but uh, the characters all have the same names as the original. Mm-hmm. It it's, it's pretty interesting. It's... I would give it a watch if you're into anime. Hmm. Okay. So, uh... 
are done I'm gonna switch the title so this is the seven samurai then second of the film that you might want to watch is uh, Yojinbo but oh, yes. everybody has to watch seven samurai first three hours then second is Yojinbo Yojimbo was excellent. That was my first uh, Kurosawa movie, actually. Ah, okay, okay. Did you watch Yojimbo, Ros Rosalie? No, I haven't seen that one. Okay. Uh, if, you, if you're busy, you don't have to watch. Uh, you just have to watch The Seven Samurai first. But Yojimbo is the uh, pretty much the homage to Western films. Hmm. It's, uh, Western cowboy films. There's a movie based on Yojimbo, isn't there? Yeah, an but, but so, yeah, Kurosawa made the Yojimbo uh, as an homage to the Western cowboy films. Then uh, Clint Eastwood made the uh, Magnific. Was it Clint? Magnif. Magnif. Oh, no, Magnif That one I think was the, uh, based Seven on Samurai. Seven Samurai, yeah, though. Sorry, I sorry. I believe. Yeah, I <laughs> had to see how much I wasn't prepared for today's show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, but <laughs> Kid 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 Daron Juzo Itami is the best. Yes, uh, I'll, I will. Uh, yeah, you know what? I have to introduce him as well. Good point, Kid Daron. Um, yo, yeah, Juzo Itami is perfect film to watch the contemporary Japanese uh, film. But it's kind of getting to the classic, by the way. But so Yojinbo is good. And oh, I, I found the uh, name for the Yojimbo American remake. Oh, what's that? What's the name? Uh, Last Man Standing. Oh, yes! Last and Man Standing! Bruce, Bruce Willis was in that one. Yes! Yes! <laughs> 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 so, uh, yeah, so uh, Yojimbo was influenced by Western culture, but it was also, again, remade uh, in, in the US later on. I think too, so. uh, Clist Clint Eastwood's. A Fistful of Dollars was also based on it, is what it's saying here. Mm, okay. okay. Yeah. I think my dad was telling me that before. Okay, okay. Hmm, I see. But don't we don't want to go too much into it, uh, because uh, this is just a one-on-one -on -one class. So <laughs> I don't want to go into too much hardcore. But next is uh, Kurosawa's Run. This is... Uh, based on the Shakespeare's uh, King Lear. Uh, mm. No. Was it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, uh, you know, if you like uh, Shakespeare, this is the movie to watch. And uh, Magorok san, yeah, thank you. Yes, Last Man Standing. So, uh, then uh, Akira Kurosawa is really famous for this samurai uh, classic, classic film. But actually, when I first got into Akira Kurosawa was this film, High and Low. So uh, um, this is if if you don't like like a samurai films, uh, then if you like a thriller, this is the film that I recommend you to watch uh, among Kurosawa film. Oh, Ikiro is good too. Yes, Kid Aaron. <laughs> yes, Ikiro is. It's really awesome films, uh, but it's human drama. It's oh shoot, I, I have to. But you know what, Aaron? I think I really have to do the Akira Kurosawa special. I could talk about it. Like you, you really could. There's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's I'm cool. I'm making a list of all these movies too. Yeah, just yeah. Can watch the ones I haven't. <laughs> yeah. But but uh, among the contemporary staging films of Akira Kurosawa's films. I recommend High and Low. This is the thriller uh, starred by uh, Hayao uh, Toshiro Mihume. Um, uh, so it's about the uh, kidnap. Uh, was it? Yeah, so. Uh, and. Uh, we might need to do a movie night. Cats. Yeah, I know. We're, we're forgetting these movies. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> so anyway, the high and low is the the film that you should watch. It's the thriller about kidnapping and Toshiro Mifune starring film, and it's real. It's black and white film. Like a Yojin Bolt, Seven Samurai, and High and Low are black and white films. So if you don't really, if you don't really like the black and white film, so you kind of have to prep it. 
you kind of have to get ready to see black and white film but once you gave up uh, like you know you you compromise for black and white films and watch these films um, yeah it's it's really gorgeous uh, so high and low is the the most recommended film that you should watch for, as, as a Kurosawa's film as a contemporary films then seven samurai is the film that you must watch and I could go, I could say Rashomon and other films, but uh, you know, I think uh, we should do one one time the Akira Kurosawa night to talk oh, about. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so you know, this is this shot from a high and low, but yeah. So, any other film, Ro Rosalie, that um, you like from Akira Kurosawa's film? Uh, I saw a few minutes of. No. Rashomon, so I think okay. when I was in a film class a few semesters ago, and that one I really wanted to see the whole thing. Okay, yeah, Rashomon is really like a um, postmodernism film, so you kind of have to uh, prepare your brain and watch it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun if you if you wanna if you feel like you wanna be smart. So. <laughs> Mago, Magoroku 15, Ikiru is my best. Thank you. Yeah, I, I like Ikiru too. So, so uh, then let's go to the next filmmaker. Uh, Aki, Kitano, Takeshi Kitano. Eh? Is that beat Takeshi? Yeah, beat Takeshi. Oh. Yeah. Uh, cr uh, picture by Nikita on Wikipedia. Thank you for the picture but anyway um, yeah Kitano Takeshi do you know he's a famous filmmaker Rosalie I only know of him what's up I only know of him from watching so many variety shows yeah yeah of course of course <laughs> he's uh, most famous in the US for uh, Takeshi's castle yeah which is uh, how, how do you how do you say in uh, English title it, the English title for it is uh, Most Extremes Challenge, and they renamed it MXC after a while. Okay. Uh, it was just one huge comedy thing on, <laughs> just for people to laugh at, I guess. On but... American TV, it was really dumb. They, they like dubbed it over, but made all the comments sound really ridiculous and stupid. <laughs> it was almost painful. Like, I feel like the show would have been good if... It, it, it was in the original Japanese, but like, I don't know. I, well, I, but I mean, Takeshi Kitano is originally comedy and they they do really stupid stuff anyway. So, uh, I mean, I, when I watched it, I, actually, when I was in it, the US on the cable, was that? Though, it, though it's not directly translated, I believe that the comedy is at least translated in its own American style form there. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the only way I can describe that. It is, it is rather silly, but it is funny yeah, it, to watch. It's funny. It's funny. I think. To do. Yeah. But I, I think uh, Kitano Takeshi doesn't mind to be translated that way anyway. I mean, he's comedy anyway. But. I mean, the point of it wasn't too much just listening to what they were saying. It was just kind of a gag to go on with the stupid things that people actually joined in to actually do I mean uh, throwing themselves covered in velcro to a wall and seeing if they'll stick instead of going into a muddy pit of water <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was all ridiculous to yeah. begin with whether it was Japanese or American <laughs> <laughs> but I probably it was the dubbing mm. like yeah the dubbing was painful mm. <laughs> well, but Takeshi Kitano's castle was acceptable for me as a Japanese people who's been watching that show. So, uh, so uh, yes, uh, Kid, uh, thank you for Magoroku san for making the. Uh, uh, you you watched the Seven Samurai at the uh, big theater in Japan and it was, I think, good. And then. Oh, the QK Q Q scene, the break scene. Okay, I, I don't want to go into it too much because it's hardcore. So, <laughs> but, um, so uh, Takeshi Kitano's famous, uh, and I love, the my personal favorite of Takeshi Kitano film is Kikujiro as Aaron Kid mentioned. <laughs> 
Uh, I, so Kikujiro is the story of a Yakuza and a young kid who wants to go see her mom. I've really wanted to see this film myself as well. I've yeah, heard this, a lot about it. This is super funny and sad and funny as it says on the DVD cover. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely have to give that one a yeah. watch then because I've been wanting to watch it for a while. Yeah, this is like, uh, you know, I, I love, I also love the road trip movie. And this is one of, you know, like uh, last week I, I introduced the uh, Etienne, the hamster movie with the direct Japanese-American film director Jeff Mijusima last week. That's the movie too. That's also the movie I recommend to watch as a road trip, uh, Japan-related film. But uh, this one, Kikujiro, is the road trip films. Like you can check all kinds of Japanese, uh, like, Chitamachi. Uh, is the uh, downtown scenery of Japan and how people interact like in the 80s and 70s so uh, then you know the kids were divorced uh, no no I think a kid's parents had a car accident or something and then his dad passed away so uh, he was raised by a grandmother in uh, near Asakusa, uh, Tokyo. Then uh, one day he found a letter from his mom to his grandma, whom he never seen because uh, they were separated when he was young. So one day he, in, during the summer summer break, where everybody was went to the summer vacation with with their family, he left alone. So he decided to uh, travel by himself, try to meet his mom. But uh, he was caught by bully on the way. Then uh, Takeshi Kitano, kind, in a way, kind of rescued him. And he was also forced to escort him to meet his mom. So uh, it is really fun road trip film that uh, you should watch. This is the one of the film that I personally recommend to watch. Uh, Kitashi Ta Takeshi Kitano film tends to be more postmodernism. So uh, it's kind. Many of fi his film are kind of intellectual, especially the early early day of his film. So, uh, uh, but if you like a European film, you should, you guys should watch his earlier films, uh, like Hanabi, Fireworks, is, you know, it won the, um, uh, what, which, Khan, or, see how much I didn't do research? <laughs> uh, Hanabi, Hanabi won which, which, uh, category? Uh... Yeah, so, so, uh, uh, yeah, Hanabi is the, uh, great film as well. I, I watched as well, I think. So, but. Oh, he, he did a Zatoichi movie also. Yeah, Zatoichi he? movie too. Mm -hmm. And then, second, second, my favorite film was called Brother. Uh,. I like, I like, um, Kitano's So, Brother is uh, also other Kitano Takeshi's film. It's Yakuza movie, but shot in LA. And Here's the this this is the another reason why I recommend this film <laughs> and they were shooting right next to my apartment. <laughs> oh yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> so, so they, they I, I, I passed by on the bicycle <laughs> like 10 12 years ago when I was going to college in LA and they were shooting at the sushi restaurant in the West LA. <laughs> so oh and later on, when I watch, saw the film, oh, shoot, oh, that was that scene. 
so but yeah uh, um this is the uh kind of interesting uh uh yakuza film shot in la so uh Takeshi Kitano brought the Yakuza style into LA. So uh, it's, it's, it's a really interesting movie to watch if you love Yakuza film. So these two films I recommend, but I recommend Kikujiro more than Brothers. So um, that's it. So next top three Japanese film director, of course, it's Hayao Miyazaki. <laughs> My number one favorite. Yeah, me too, me too. Uh, Ro Rosalie, what, who is your um, favorite film? Uh, what is your favorite film? Uh, by Miyazaki or by anyone? No, Hayao Miyazaki. Uh, Spirited Away. Spirited Away, okay. Sento Chihiro. Hmm. Sento, sen, then, uh, Sarah, you, you like a Sento, Chi, Sento Chihiro? Uh, my favorite is uh, Mononoke Hime. Pri yeah, Princess Mononoke. Uh, Princess Mononoke was the very first uh, Miyazaki film I ever viewed. I, I read a newspaper article about it. It had gotten into the local paper where I lived. And mm. um, I decided to rent it at the rental shop and... I absolutely fell in love with it. I fell in love with Japanese art, animation, and Japan's culture itself through uh, Miyazaki's eyes. Uh, what film did you watch first, uh, Rosalie? Spirit of the Way. Spirit of the Way, okay. See, that's how I generation, this is called Generation Gap. <laughs> <laughs> like, like uh, uh, when my f very first Miyao Hayazaki film was uh, Lupita. How, 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 how do we pronounce uh, it? La Laputa. Laputa, yeah. Uh, in Laputa. America, Castle in the Sky. Yeah, Castle in the Sky, Laputa. That was my first Hayao Miyazaki film and my favorite. You know, That's definitely that, my second favorite. Yeah. You, usually, usually people, people usually select the uh, first Hayao Miyazaki film as a favorite film. <laughs> you know why? Because every single Hayao Miyazaki film are great they are it's, it's yeah. too hard it's too yeah, it's hard to, too hard to select choose. so so i have to choose the first <laughs> so if you have to choose one you usually choose the one that you watch first now, generally, for me i love just about every ghibli movie as well uh -huh. even the ones that he didn't do himself there are a lot of magnificent ones as well so i yeah. wouldn't if anybody that is a miyazaki film don't ignore any of ghibli's movies check them out and give them your own opinion as well yeah there's some decent ones and they're yeah. very decent ones yeah i mean everybody loves hayao miyazaki so i let everybody else to uh i mean there are all kinds of uh, websites to talk about Hayao Miyazaki and he has his own fan site anyway so mm -hmm. uh, search it on the internet I I don't really I don't know uh, I don't because I'm not really uh, even though I'm Japanese and grew up with uh, Hayao Miyazaki film I'm not really uh, experts on it <laughs> but uh, yeah so uh, any other film that you to recommend to uh I, unfortunately i cannot show any of the uh film screen cap because of the copyright reason but uh, uh I, so i recommend laputa which is the castle in the sky the most to the people to watch and how about how about and then second film is now Nau nautica it's no, the no, no, nausicaa nausicaa Nautica or it's 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 pronounced Nausicaa, Nausicaa. in the English version. Okay, yeah. Nausicaa. Okay, see how much I didn't. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I uh, I I love it. So if yeah. you have any questions, I'm willing to answer. Okay, cool. Oh, how about yours? How about how about how about your other film to recommend among the Hayao Miyazaki film? Um, I would definitely recommend not just Laputa and uh, Princess Mononoke, but I guess top three other than Mononoke Hime, uh, Totoro as 
that has been already listed here on the Twitter as well. Oh, Totoro okay. is a very good one. Um, a lot of children really love that one, especially if you have children. My best friend, her daughter, absolutely loves Totoro. You know, you know what? <laughs> I have a funny story about Totoro. Since I've seen Totoro, I love eating cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to know. <laughs> you have to watch it to, to, to get to know why I said it. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> I, I I love Japanese cucumber after that, after seeing Totoro. So. Now there's one that I like a lot that I would love to recommend to many people, but it's very difficult to see in all countries. Um, I can't remember the Japanese title, but under the English title is Only Yesterday. Only um, Yesterday. The film is very, uh, it's not a children's film. It's one of his more adult films. Uh, I think it's a very good film, and a lot of American fans are fighting for this film to come to America. But for some reason, I'm not quite sure of all the reasons it hasn't been... Disney hasn't brought it to the United States. I know England has it with English subtitles, and I do have it um, copied to tape because... Nah, oh, omo, ago. Omoide Poro Poro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, That's Omoide cool. Poro Poro is. And this one is. Yeah, it has a controversy. Yeah. It does, it does have a controversy. And I actually do. I did enjoy that film a lot myself. Uh. Um, but there are a lot of fans who really want this film. And they, they gave fans a very rare chance in America. On, they had a celebration for Miyazaki's birthday on Turner Classic Movies one year. Mm. And they did show this film in Japanese with English subtitles, and that was the first time and the last time I ever got to watch it. Oh, I see, <laughs> I see. But um, the videotape I recorded it on uh, didn't videotape very well. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I actually liked the film a lot. Mm -hmm. And some people might not like it, but I do know there's a lot of people that do love it and want it. Yeah, but this is, this is Love and Hate, one of the uh, Love and Hate movie of... Uh, Hayao Miyazaki film. Yes, it and, is. And this is not actually um, uh, directed by Hayao Miyazaki. It's just a Studio Ghibli movie. Yeah, that's that's true. I've completely forgot about that one. Yeah, Sorry. it's a. But it is a good Ghibli film. That is for sure, in my view. Yeah. Oh, uh, pipi, pipi, uh, Atsushi Umeda san. I like Krenai no Buta. Oh yes, that that's also the uh, Porco Rosso. Yeah, Porco Rosso. Yeah. I love that film. I really <laughs> do. I absolutely adore it. Yeah, Kid, I uh, highly recommend that one as yeah. well. Thank Kid, you, Pipiro. Uh -huh. Kit Aron, I think of Totoro every time I use an umbrella. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's one of my favorite scenes. Yeah. It really is. So you know, since since I've seen, yeah, I could we could talk about hours, you know, when I when when we start talking about the Mia, Hayao Miyazaki film. I so could go on about every one of them, I really could. <laughs> Maybe we should have a Miyazaki show as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not really expert on it, so I, I don't, but maybe, yeah, maybe I, should, I really should. So, uh, now, when you come to Japan, you'll notice a few stores will have a lot of Ghibli stuff, and the top two you'll see is always um, Gigi, from, the cat from the Kiki store. Uh, Kiki, yeah. I, Sure, of the Japanese. I've forgotten the Japanese name. Oh, that's English. the Kiki's uh, delivery service. Yes, that is that's the English title, I know, but I'm not. Majo no, Majo no Takyubin. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Well, you'll see Gigi a lot on towels and plates and bowls, and well, you'll be... see Totoro as well. <laughs> Those are the top two you'll see is the Kiki stuff and Totoro stuff. Kiki stuff Japan. has a little bit different story because uh, Kiki's delivery service. Is tied up with uh, Kroneko Yamato ah, delivery service. I see. Uh, black cat. Uh, it's in, in in English. It literally means black cat delivery service. Yes. Uh, I think uh, Hayao Miyazaki inf used that um, mascot character uh, Kiki's delivery in the Kiki's delivery service. So that's why you see it. But 
uh, Kroneko Yamato is the what it's like a UPS or FedEx of Japan mm. and um, yeah because of uh, uh, because of that character too that's that's we, right where I live in Komaki just a little walk down the street there's a bakery here they sell all kinds of cakes and stuff and they're called Gigi's <laughs> and uh, the, their symbol is a witch on a broom uh, of, and of, it, of I guess it it, it, I thought it was very funny, and I asked my husband about it, and he says the cake shop is named after uh, the cat from Kiki. Uh, <laughs> very uh, interesting. Aaron Kit, uh, okay, your wife, his wife is Japanese, and uh, his, his uh, favorite film is Kiki's Delivery Service. Yeah, so, uh, you know, again, everybody has its own favorite film, and they like, which I agree, but uh, it just... Yeah, Kurena no Buddha Poker also is gorgeous film if it's you're a guy. <laughs> Especially if you're a guy. <laughs> <laughs> it it has a it has a man's romance to yeah, it. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how but about it also has uh, that ladies' romance on the side. Yeah. Rosalie, how about you? What is your other Miyazaki, Hayao Miyazaki's favorite film? We just watched Ponyo a few hours ago, so I really mm -hmm. like that one right Ponyo, now. Ponyo, yeah. Okay. Ponyo's very good. Ponyo, the thing I like most about Ponyo, other than that it's kind of a loosely based on The Little Mermaid, but the thing I love most about Ponyo is it screams to Japan to take care of the oceans better. Mm. The They do focus on ocean pollution a lot in that film and I love that. That's one of the things I love most about Ghibli films is they like to focus on environmental issues a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the beauty of uh, Hayao Miyazaki films as well. So, uh, anyway, let's... We could just finish the talk show with just Hayao Miyazaki, so we... <laughs> I also want you to introduce other film as well, so let's move on. Right, next on. films, uh, next the film director that I, I don't have his picture that I can use on the internet. So, Yoji Yamada is the uh, Japanese film director you should remember. Uh, he has produced, uh, no, he has directed many films many films that influenced Jap uh, uh, Japanese culture including uh, the movie series called Otoko wa Tsuraiyo. it's called in English it means it's tough being a man uh, uh, he this Otoko wa Tsuraiyo, it's tough being a man is like a 50 uh, about 50 movie series of uh, wonder, the story of a wandering man from Asakusa. So uh, he's uh, and then other other uh, film series is called Tsuribaka Nishi. In English, it means Fishing Fool's Diary. So uh, uh, and. Um, he also has directed earlier, uh, it's called uh, Yellow Handkerchief. That's one of his fa uh, famous film, and also uh, uh, one of the, his signature film, star starring Ken Takakura. So, uh, Yoji Yamada is the Jap uh, other Japanese film director that you should you should remember to understand Japanese culture because his film influence Japanese culture heavily. Then other film director you should remember is of course Yasujiro Ozu. Uh, do you know him? <laughs> Mm, I, that's not, he's not one that I'm very well acquainted with personally, but I, I see quite a few films that seem interesting by him listed. Yeah. So Yasujiro Ozu is the, uh, more, he makes family human drama and he died in 1960s. So all of his film is in black and white. Hmm. So, so uh, he's not that 
so he actually not famous even among Japanese people but if you watch his film you can understand Japanese culture more that kind of uh, film that kind of film he made uh, one of the film uh, that you should you should watch it's called Tokyo Story uh, Ozu's Tokyo Story uh, you know I watched this film when I was in I mean I didn't I didn't really care about Ozu film to be honest until like uh, I start learning film you know in 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 college but uh, especially because I watched this film when I was in LA when I was away from my hometown uh, it really touches my heart too so uh, especially the people who are away from your hometown who are away from your family this is the film that you should watch so uh, it's the uh, it's Ozu's Tokyo story um, so then this is the film that you might want to watch if you want to understand Japanese culture more. Uh, definitely give that one a look-see as well. Yeah. It's, it's listed as his masterpiece, I believe. Yes, yes. So, um, Ro Ro Rosalie, do you watch any other Japanese classics? Oh, are you um, there? Oh, Ro Rose has left. Yes. Uh, he he he's lying. Her her line got cut off. Actually, oh. she left us a note on Skype. I believe. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. She's not feeling well right okay. now. Okay. All right. Thank you, Rose. Thank Rosalie. you. Okay. Cool. So, uh, um, yeah, Ozu's film is the movie that you should watch. So, uh, uh, Tokyo Story. Yeah, you don't really have to watch other films much, but. <laughs> as <laughs> filmmaker 101 you know so uh but this is the film that you should want to there's watch. literally thousands of japanese films to talk about but not enough time of course of <laughs> no sure. always no no enough time of course then other genre of japanese film that you want to pay attention i sh i want to i want to um uh, mention is of course anime films like uh Evangelion is oh, yes. now uh, showing the uh, tr uh, not three. How do you say the uh, four four movie series? Uh oh, not the three. <laughs> one more of the trilogy. I I, I used it. Neither. Well, uh, anyway, so so, <laughs> so and uh, Hayao Miyazaki is producing a new feature film uh, coming out next year as well. So we cannot. Ignore and there are also horror film. We should, uh, we cannot ignore the horror films. Definitely, Japan has a huge influence with their horror films on the film world when it comes to the, in the horror genre. Yeah, and a lot of those films do get remade by uh, American directors, though many of them not as be good as the Japanese originals, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, uh, Han yeah, so Grudge, uh, someone mentioned Grudge. Oh, yeah, Ju as Juon. I, Juon. I think the original is a lot scarier than the, the remake, that's yeah. in my opinion. That's one of my favorites and one of the few that I can watch without being a little scared. I'm, I'm not a horror fan, for everybody out there should know. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know too many of them. But uh, my fa top favorites are Juon and uh, Cairo. Uh. Cairo in the U.S. is known as Pulse. Uh huh. It was also remade, and the remade title was called Pulse as well. And yeah. Pulse, Cairo has kind of, um a little, I guess, a meaning behind it. It's kind of linked to how some people alienate themselves from the rest of the world by becoming very attached to the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's got a it's a little scary to watch. It's not like gross scary, but it makes you jump every now and then and wonder. So it is a mm. really good film, and I do recommend Cairo to anybody mm. that do, does like uh, suspense thrillers from Japan. Mm. 
I see, I see, I see. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's then uh, horror film and human drama as I mentioned. Yasujiro Ozu's Tokyo Story, Akira Kurosawa's films, um, and many other films that uh, you know there are uh, available. So uh, and since then, we have a Japanese film recommendation, Tempopo. Yeah, Tempopo like. Juzo Itami Juzo. I didn't mention him, uh, but Juzo Itami is the uh, is the actually I grew up with him too. Uh, Itami Juzo. Now, Tim Popo has a, an American remake as well called Ramen Girl. I uh, have not seen that one. Uh, oh, we were we were we were showing uh, at yeah. the. Uh, we were showing at the. Um, uh, it's not really. That wasn't really remake though. But. Uh, I know. It, let's let me see. Yeah, Tampo Boy's a ramen movie, I think. Yes. So. so. So, uh, um, other film is. Uh, so, Itami Juzo is the. You cannot ignore Itami Juzo as uh, one of the uh, sign signature Japanese filmmakers to talk about human drama. Now, people that are fans of uh, Ken Watanabe, he is also in that movie. It's one of his early films that oh, he yeah. acted in. Tampopo, yes, 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 yes. And then, uh, on the Twitter, I will introduce too, we cannot ignore also sci-fi. Yes. Japanese sci-fi movies. <laughs> Japanese sci-fi has... Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> yeah. They had a they had a live-action film of uh, Yamato recently, didn't they? Yep, 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 oh, yep. Yes. With uh, Kim, Takuya Kimura star, you mm -hmm. know, starring. And, but um, many of the... Uh, many of the... Uh, 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 many of the... Uh, 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 ramen girl. Uh, yes, many of the uh, Jap. What, what was I talking? I was paying attention to Aaron's tweet. <laughs> sci-fi. Sci-fi. Yeah, so many of the uh, famous sci-fi also goes back to the classic as well. So uh, let's now go to the viewer's choice. So. Uh, yeah, you you found Ramen Girl, Magoroku-san. Yes, I we actually screened it at the uh, Tokyo uh, Japan Film Festival Los Angeles last year. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've uh, you know two three hours ago I asked uh, people to uh, people to uh, tell us what's your favorite film that uh, you wanna show. So uh, Ju Itami Juzo Itami is the uh, Many, many Itami Juzo is the filmmaker that you shouldn't ignore. Tampopo and Viewer's Choice. And the other film of uh, Juzo Itami I recommend is Marusano Onna. Marusano Onna. It's it's the story about the uh, IRS officer. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it's it's kind of funny, so um, yeah. So Aaron Kit Itami was killed by Yakuza. No, uh, he was uh, he was uh, uh, attacked by Yakuza once when he made the uh, Mimbo Mam Mimbo no na or something. So his Juzo Itami is famous for those uh, society kind of piece. So um, it's it's interesting people. So if you like social movie, uh, you know, 
Juzoitami is the one. And Dwayne, viewers' choice, uh, John. John Podesta. I, I can't. I'm sorry. Uh, then John. Marusanona is great. Aaron. Okay, cool. Thank you. Zuyasujiro. And John on the Facebook, he recommended. Umarete uh, Mitakedo. I, I was born, but he recommend that this one. Okay, thank you. And then he also recommend Oshima Nagisa. Yes, Oshima Nagisa is. He's also one of the filmmaker. I have a few uh, movie recommendations if you want as well. Sure. Uh, this one, obviously for adults and most Japanese and many American anime fans know it as well. Akira. Oh, mm. yes! I almost forgot to leave that. I'm glad I made a note uh, right now. Yes. Sorry, and I made a note of a few of my favorite Japanese movies. And Akira is just one that many... Japanese film fans must see, but do not watch it around children, that is for sure. It's not family friendly, but it is one of the most fantastic films I have ever seen. And I saw it on the same day I watched Princess Mononoke, actually. Oh, uh, okay. And it is one of my favorites as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Akira. I have a friend who also just made a recommendation. He was Gojira. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, yes I, I, that, that's, you can't leave those out. Yeah, of those course, of course. Absolutely. Uh, who is the Katsu Otomo Otomo? What's his la first uh, Katsuhiro name? Katsuhiro Otomo. Katsuhiro. I think. Is it Otomo? Yes, Katsuhiro Otomo. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I do have a, a, a director to recommend. I've liked, I've loved every one of his movies. I, and it breaks my heart that he died last year of cancer. Oh, yes. Satoshi Kon. You know what? Japan Film Festival LA might do the Tribune. Oh, really? To, uh, in LA. I, I, I can't Satoshi. tell you how hard I cried when I heard that that man died. He has been, a, he's the second largest inspiration to me as an artist. Yes. Uh, Miyazaki, you, number one, but Satoshi Kon, number two. And it, I felt like part of me died when he did. He was, yeah. he was in the middle of a movie as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I... Did you did you read his uh, last will? No, I have not. Uh, I need to tr I need to do the translation. Oh, please do! I'd like to read Satoshi. that. Uh, number one movie I recommend by Satoshi Kon, uh, Millennium Actress in English, and number two was Paprika. Yeah. Paprika is just fantastic, and I love his movie uh, Tokyo Godfathers already. Also, well, Tokyo Godfathers. What, millennium. What Millennium? Millennium Actress. Actress, yeah. So, uh, Millennium Actress and Paprika and... And uh, Tokyo Godfathers. Ah, Tokyo Godfathers, yes. I love that film. I absolutely love it. Yeah, this film is great to watch. I'm very happy to know that you know these films because I don't know too many Japanese that know all these films in person. <laughs> well, because I do Yoko Sonis, I kind of have to research the There you the go. Films I, I just love, I love them. Yeah. And then, uh, Magoroku 15 sang, I, I have uh, Akira's first printed books. Magoro, you're a very, very <laughs> lucky person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, um, Kid Aro Marusano Onna is great. Yes, uh, I like I per, I like it too. Uh, not recommended to everyone. One. Yes, not and, not to everyone. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> and then uh, you recommend Narayama Bushiko. Oh, Narayama Bushiko by Imamura Imamura Shohei to Shohei Imamura. Shohei Imamura is the. Uh, Looks uh, like many of our fans are becoming part of the show, huh? Yeah. <laughs> In Shohei Imamura. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh. Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I, I, I click. I click the uh, somewhere by mistake. Sorry. Once again, the beauty of life. Imamura, Sh Imamura <laughs> Shohei's uh, uh, Narayama Bushiko. Yeah, Nar Narayama Bushiko, it's really great too. And then other film, the recent film, the um, is uh, the, of course we cannot ignore the Oscar winning film. And I also want to talk about Okuri. Who is the director? Uh, Takita Yojiro. Yes. Now there is a film that's coming out, well I think it's already out, it came out maybe last week mm -hmm. or the week before that I'm interested in seeing is uh, the live action movie of Ashitano Jo. Oh I'm yes, Ashitano Jo, it's good. I'm very interested in seeing this movie. But um, the film that you also don't want to miss is um, Departure. Departure, okay. Okuribito. You're missing an R there. Huh? <laughs> Uh, departure was misspelled. There you go. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, depar oh, departure, departures. Departures. Sorry, guys, sorry, guys. Departures. Taiyo o nusunda otoko. Oh, Taiyo o nusunda otoko. Magoroku-san, you are hardcore. Yeah, I mean, I know how old you are, so... Uh, <laughs> so, uh, But, um, you know, the, uh, I got the recommendation from uh, Chuck Sandy and... Chuck and Tanaka-san, Departure recommendation. Thank you. So, uh, Departure is the story of... Uh, by a cellist, I think. Mm, who, oh yeah, a cellist. There. Yeah, cellist who lost his job and had to go back to his hometown and was looking for a job. And he found a job as Okuribito, which is, yeah, departure of uh, the people at the funeral uh, funeral uh, service. To dress up the dead body mm. to uh, buy uh, so uh, family member it's 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 the uh, it's not really famous popular uh, custom in Japan it's on it was only popular in the nor northern part of Japan it I I never heard of people do it in my hometown but uh, Okuribito is the uh, person who will dress up the uh, dead body of deceased before it w before the funeral. So uh, it's the one of the ritual that uh, you know the by the family member, like um, who wants to dress up with the uh, clothes. Uh, usually, you know, dead body are coming back from the hospital, so. Uh, they often to be in a hospital gown, but uh, before the funeral, they want family member may want to dress them up in the uh, uh, clothing of what they used to wear. Now, the majority of Japan does uh, cremation, right? Yeah. Mm, uh, okay. Cremation? Crem what cremation? Uh, where they burn the body. Oh, yeah, yeah, cremation. Yes, 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 yes. 
so I, I don't I've never heard of the uh Okuribito either until now, so that's interesting yeah. to know. Oh yes, Itami has the great funeral movie. Yes, good point, Aaron. So yeah, it has it has it. It's the movie called Ososhiki uh, uh, by Juzo Itami. Uh, it, it's kind of satire comedy movie to talk about uh, funeral. I think. Uh, yeah. So cool. Um, I wasn't thinking about. You know, this last minute, uh, t the live talk show kind of works works out good. <laughs> I I wasn't I wasn't prepared enough. It was a, it's a fun show. I'm yeah. having fun with this one, even yeah. though it was just slapped together. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, and you cannot ignore the Godzilla series. Oh yes. So, but. Uh, you know, everybody knows Godzilla. It, it's been remade many times. And many, many then, times. And yeah. I believe Japan's working on their own film for it last time I looked. Yeah. It said 2012 next to it. Not sure. I, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I, I'm not re. I like. I, I used to like Godzilla, but. Uh, I am not anymore. <laughs> it's it's more it's more for the kids to enjoy and yeah. old monster uh, film fans. There's a lot of good monster film out there, and I know I have a few friends that are huge fans of monster films, and uh, they collect the dolls and figurines for them yeah. as well. But um, I'm pretty sure if you ask anybody what Japanese movie they've seen, they'll probably say Godzilla first, so... Yeah, Godzilla, That's... Ultraman... Yes, Ultraman. <laughs> Little kids still love him today, yeah. too. Now, uh, there's a, a mall in Kasugai in Aichi Prefecture called uh, Airport Walk. Uh -huh, it's next uh -huh. to the old airport, and they've yeah. got an Ultraman play area. And yeah. that place is crazy. They even have a guy that dresses up as Ultraman every now and then, and he comes and does a show for the kids. Yeah. So lots of fanatics show up there, not just kids. There are some adults, <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah, so Godzilla. Um, yeah, the Kid Aaron, the original Godzilla, had a lot of symbolism, It didn't it? Yes. Uh, original Godzilla had uh, is uh, it what they made it to criticize the uh, uh, atomic bomb mm -hmm. uh, experiment in uh, South Pacific Ocean by French by the U.S. I think the U.S. government did the uh, the uh, I believe so yeah hi, 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 hydro hydrogen bomb experiment and stuff so Godzilla was supposed to be born by the DNA uh, malfunction of uh, of these um, atomic bomb or hydro hydrogen bomb experiment so he's, he's basically just a giant iguana yeah so, <laughs> so uh, yeah so that's uh, Godzilla and Ultraman and yeah that's pretty much it and any other film that uh, you guys recommend to watch? Uh, mm. and There's tons and tons, that's for sure. Yeah, of course, of course. So, now, for, uh, the, for the romance fanatics out there, I would probably recommend a movie called Be With You. Be With You? I'm not sure if it has a different title in Japan or not. Uh, I read sure. the book. The book was very sad and... Uh, my husband loves the story, the book as well, of okay. Be With You. It's been translated into English. And is it live it, action or anime? It is a live action, but it also got an anime series and a comic book because of the original book. Now, originally it was just a, it was a novel, and then it became a, an anime, manga, and a, eventually the live action film. 2004. Yeah, that's why I don't uh, I don't I think know. the it's Ima Aini Yukimas. Oh, okay. Ima Aini Yukimas. It's a very sad romantic story. Mm, okay. Um I recommend it to anybody. Even even men I think would enjoy that story a little bit. Cuz okay. I I know my husband enjoyed it. Okay. And the book the book is um very good. I recommend reading the book as well if you have if 
you like to read. <laughs> Some okay. people don't, but um, if you do enjoy reading novels, it's it's a very short novel, so it, it doesn't take too long to get through. Mm. But I do recommend the book and the movie. They're pretty good. I haven't watched the anime or read the comic book, but I do know that the movie and the book are just fantastic in mm. my point of view. Mm. I see, I see. Yeah, I was... I was... Oh! Oh, shall we dance? Of course, we cannot. We cannot ignore. <laughs> cannot ignore. Shall we dance? Of course. Shall we dance? Um, Richard Gere did the remake. Yes, yes, he did, didn't he? Yeah. So with uh, I think. Uh, Unfortunately, I haven't seen either of those, so I'm going to need to see the first one for sure. It looks interesting. I'm looking at stuff about it now. We we dance. See, I'm learning th new things here all the time. Yeah. I keep finding out so many movies that America makes. Japan made them first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys should be the new Hollywood. I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, we are getting there. Actually, I you think are, you because, really are. Uh, because because of the older anime, I mean comic books are the. Uh, um, and also, uh, I need to mention, I forgot to mention uh, your film, Sarah. Oh, the, the one about the cat? Yeah. Uh, the Adventures of Milo and Otis. Yes. That was a film I just now found out doing my research for today's show was Japanese. Uh, in America, Many people grew up watching uh, The Adventures of Milo and Otis. That film was released uh, probably a, a, a little bit before I was born in Japan, but afterwards in the uh, United States. I think it was in 1989 it was released. Yeah. Yeah. So many people from my generation know that movie very well. Mm -hmm. um, it's about a, a cat and a dog, and a cat and the dog go out on an adventure, and the cat gets in all kinds of trouble, and the dog helps him. And it, it was a it's it's a cute little story, but I had no idea that it was Japanese because there are no human actors in the film. <laughs> so when I was looking up Japanese films today to make a list of some of my favorites, I ran across the adventures of Milo and Otis, and I was like, eh, <laughs> Japanese? What? And, and then it's funny because uh, they completely changed the name. Yes, they did. From from uh, Kone, the in Japanese title, it's called Koneko Monogatari, and it made a huge success. Like people were crazy buying the picture of these two uh, cat. I mean cats and stuff. But uh, because they changed, and but in Japanese original title, it's called Koneko Monogatari. In English, uh, little direct translation to English, it's called uh, Story of Kitties. Yeah, uh, yeah so, kitten story, yeah. Kitty ki stories or something. So, I'd, you know, I never across the... Uh, it, it, it had a lot of controversy in Australia, too, I, I am reading, uh, with animal rights, but yeah, the American Humane Society said that it was... It was there was nothing wrong with it at all, but I just had no <laughs> idea that this film was a Japanese success film, and mm. it was just it was it's a big thing in the United States too, and we all know it as Milo and Otis. And, yeah. uh, I mean, they. So, well, I I remember watching the behind the scene making of of uh, Adventure of Milo and Otis. They they did really well. Uh, trying to uh, protect these uh, kit I mean, yes. kitties. So, uh, yeah. So, I, it, the, if they hadn't, I'm pretty sure more than the Austra more than Australia would have been raving about <laughs> any mistreatment. But I, it was really a, a good movie. It's very sweet movie, and um, I was just absolutely shocked to know that it was it was Japanese. But the thing is, in America, until recently. Many things that come from Japan, they do change the names of. Yeah. And it happened It happened a lot in, in anime in the early 90s. A lot of characters got their names changed to be more Americanized for people to be able to say their names because Japanese names do tend to be a little... Uh, I mean... Yeah. Which which is fine. Which is fine with yeah. me. You know, of course. Uh, of course. I, can, uh, I guess you can't expect Americans to say, oh, I love that movie... Uh, Koneko Monogato, what? <laughs> you have to see Americans doing that right now if they yeah. don't know anything about Japanese pronunciation. But um, they, 
married. There are a lot of big films in Japan, I mean, in America, that were originally Japanese or were remade from Japanese, or and a lot of people never even knew it, I think. And Milo Notis was a huge one for me that I never, I grew up with that movie and never even knew it.、Mm. And I was, as I was telling you earlier today,、um, there was a lot of movies that were. Done by collaboration between Japan and America, and、uh-huh. I didn't know it. And a lot of them are really old ones.、Uh, one of them, it wasn't particularly a success until after it was released on video and DVD. It was uh, called um, The Adventures of Little Nemo in Slumberland. Okay.、Uh, that movie was really old, but a lot of people do know that movie in the United States, and、mm. I grew up with it,、okay. my generation specifically. And that one was. Worked on with somebody, with a director from Ghibli Studios. And then there was another one that a lot of people know about in America called、uh, The Last Unicorn, which was also a collaboration between the,、uh, a company that now is Ghibli Studio. So America does have a lot of Japanese films, but they're a little hidden sometimes. <laughs> you gotta search for them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah,、uh, today's my big discovery was the adventure of Milo and Otis was super popular in the US, which、oh, I,、yeah. I, 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 I had no idea. I just idea had、of. no clue, and it was a huge surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. So,、uh, yeah, and、uh, it looks like、uh, we don't have no more r e c o m m e n d a t i o n of the film of today,、uh, but it's good.、Uh, we、right. already listed. About、yeah. 20, 30, like over <laughs> last, <laughs> lots we've of run, hours. We've been running for an hour and a half now, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so、uh, we have so many recommendations of the film. So uh,、um, I think that's, that's it for、um, today's show, I guess. So well, thank you very much for、uh, joining in. Aaron Kidd,、uh, Magorok 15s, and Pipiro、uh, Umeda san, and then Jose, and then uh, uh, Molly, and thank you very much for, and Rosalie, for, thank you very much for joining us on Yokoso News Weekly this week.、Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I carry I would, on.、Today. I would say that this is a successful last minute show. <laughs> I really think so. I mean, we, had a good, we had a good long conversation. And,、uh, I, I would like to personally thank everybody else that joined in and helped it keep, keep going. Everybody's、yeah. recommendations helped out a lot. Yeah, we had、cool. a lot to talk about. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, I mean, that's the beauty of、uh, having a social timeline on the internet. So, this is <laughs>、yes. the social media, right? Yeah, I mean, Yokosu News is the、uh, media that you can, I, I hope you can join too. So,、uh, hopefully.、Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, you're welcome to join us on Skype sometime if you think you have something to say. So,、uh, I think、uh, Kid Aaron likes a, a football team from where I come from. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, cool. Aaron. So,、uh, okay, okay. Maybe Aaron, you should, you should, if, you, 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 if you, if you want to join us on Skype sometime, Aaron, you know, you're welcome. You, def- you definitely should. All right, cool. So,、uh, Yeah, so that has been today's Yokos News Weekly. Shukan Yokos News live from Yokaichi Mie, Japan. Today's topic was the Japanese film 101.、Uh, to talk about the basic, really basic, of if you're interested in Japan,、uh, one of the closest w a y to get to know Japan. Way, Even though you are not in Japan, is to watch Japanese films. Then,、uh, top three director you should, you should pay attention to is the、uh, Akira Kurosawa. And Akira Kurosawa, you should remember, and Takeshi Kitano. And Hayao Miyazaki. So,、uh, these three film, people, you know, you, you, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna focus on these film. And the film that I recommend you guys to watch is Seven Samurai. Yes. And when Kikujiro. 
Then Hayao Miyazaki's any films. <laughs> yes, any film at all. Yeah. So I, <laughs> well, I, I, we guarantee you'll love them all. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, Yokosu News. I recommend to watch the three films from these three directors to、uh, to understand Japan more. So.、Uh, That has been the, today, this week's、uh, Yokosu News.、Uh, Sarah, thank you very much. No problem. Any last,、uh, any, any film that you forgot to mention? Um, I think I've mentioned as much as I could、okay. <laughs> for now. <laughs> yeah, but, I, yeah. I, but as you said, that Japanese films will bring you closer to understanding Japan, that's for sure. But... It will also, when you do come to Japan, it will give you a huge、um, conversation starter. Japanese anime and film has given me many reasons to talk to people without even knowing their language. That's yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. And then also, like, especially Hayao Miyazaki film, you know, we could do a tour. Like,、uh, you know, in, I think、uh, near Komaki, you have lots of scenery that looks like. Hayao Miyazaki film. Yes, there's a mountain nearby called Hasso. And when I went to Hasso for the first time, I felt like I was in the set of Pr- Princess Mononoke. I really did. <laughs> the trees and the, and the rivers and everything just felt like I was like Ashitaka or、uh-huh. San could have come out of the forest at any second. It was, it was gorgeous. Yeah. When I, when I first watched、uh, Totoro, I was like、uh, elementary school kids. So、uh, then、uh, when I saw Ki-、uh, Satsuki and Chie w a s running around in the mountain, like, <laughs> oh, I want to do that too. And the one thing I couldn't do was to ride on the Neko bus.、Uh, uh, now, if you, if in, <laughs> to Ghibli fans out there in Mitaka, it's、oh, very close、yes. to Tokyo, there's a、uh, Ghibli museum there. Now, you cannot take video or photos there, but it is worth a trip out、mm. there. I absolutely、mm. had so much fun. And you can ride on a Neko bus there. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, one, one, one day I really, I, I really want to、really、go to these、uh, places. But、yes, Yokosu、yes. News needs to be more famous and popular. Well,、okay. we'll, we'll, uh, <laughs> let's,、right. try to, yeah. let's try to travel around some yeah. more. Yeah. <laughs> so,、uh, next、uh, Yokosu News Weekly is going to be February 27th, I believe. But the、uh, uh, previous day,、uh, I'm going to do overnight、uh, live casting with, in Japanese programs. So, I don't know if I can. Carry、And、on. I will be in Shirakawa Go. <laughs> <laughs> But、uh, then the following week, March 2nd, first Wednesday of、uh, March, I will go to Japanese calligraphers studio、Ooh. to talk to introduce the Japanese calligraphy. So, Japanese、uh, calligraphy can be very challenging, so this will be interesting. Yeah, so,、uh, so that's not on Sunday, that's the special program. It's also a fundraising project of Yokosu、um. News, too. But, so, don't, so don't miss us. Maybe next Sunday,、uh, February 27th, but definitely on the Mar- first Wednesday of March, Japan time, which Is when is it? When is it? When, when is it?、Uh, I'm launching the, the March the, the, 6th. No, the first Wednesday is、oh, Wednesday. The,、uh, no, March 2nd. March, yes, 2nd. March 2nd. Yeah, then I'm going to Tokyo on the following week to attend the、uh, computer web design software event. But、uh, so I, I will be able to report. Something on the Tokyo as well.、So. Very busy. <laughs> <sighs> crazy, crazy. But now I'll, I'll take plenty of photos and some video at Shirakawa. We can use some of that at some point as well. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Think, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. I, I, you know, today I actually、uh, I went to skiing last Monday. So, oh, yeah, you did. In Gifu, right? Yeah, Gifu Washigatake Ski Resort. And I, kind, I, I wish I wanted to show it to some of the ski video, but.、Uh, I figured it's already too much. Well,、showing. let's we can、uh, we can do a ski and Shirakawa mix together. How about that? <laughs> ah, yeah, sure, sure, sure.、Let's、yeah, that's that. that's great. That's great. When, when are you going to Shirakawa? 
I should be going this next weekend. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm looking forward to. And also, I'm talking to a couple of people in Tokyo to do a live cast from Tokyo as well. Awesome. So, so、uh, we'll stay tuned to Yokoso News Weekly. And thank you very much. And see you next week. Thank you.